Oh, Mr. Perfect. Mr. Perfect. Oh, thank you. See, the best part about Bud Light becoming Jake's least favorite brand is I got to inherit all of his Bud Light koozies. It's so funny. I still can't figure out if the one is a workout armband or a koozie, but I'm pretty sure it's a koozie. But who would wear a Bud Light armband? <laughs> We got some minor machete action. That's all right. Is that the Bear Grylls one? Yeah, I fucking grinded it down and made it all perfect. Dude, it's so funny because everyone always makes fun of Bear Grylls not being a real wilderness man, but Jake always knows like the best gear. He swears by Dude, that the okay. Bear Grylls pants. They don't pants. make them anymore. The pants, oh, right? They were torque. I I've heard actually Bear Grylls is the real one, and the other one, Survivor Man, is the fake one. Is the fake one? I don't know. I, actually. I think it was the other way. Is it the other way? Sure. I, I could still be wrong. even if he was fake. He's still had a good show. Imagine Survivor Man is like a huge fan of our show and he just watched me say that and he's like, Yo, fuck no. this kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. I was the real one. I swear to God, one of them got caught in a hotel yeah, it on was a night Bear that Grylls, it, it was Bear Grylls. It was Bear Grylls, but apparently that was like, still I don't know. Dude, I, he still made a good show. Exactly, yeah. But dude. there were things he messed around with. Like, I remember there's one shot where he's like, this is very dangerous crossing this cavern and he like crosses it and then someone found the exact same spot and just walked over it like casually and then panned the camera no, he did and the highway is like way. right there huh he always did go way out of his way to do like crazy oh, right yeah. yeah but the whole point of the show his argument was like the whole point of the show is to show you how to survive yeah, yeah. it's not for me yeah. to literally to be survive. there yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, right, yeah. TV's fake anyway. Well, the thing yeah. is, is that, okay, you had the Man vs. Oh. series. Are we got something? We might have something for Rye. We did have, we had Man vs. Food, and that guy really ate that shit. Man vs. Wild. What is Man vs. Food? Guy Fieri? No, no, it was this guy, Adam something, who would just go to, like, these places. Oh, like he did the Africa one where he ate the pig colon. <laughs> Wait, no, no, I think you're thinking of Bizarre Foods. That's Andrew Maybe. Zimmern. No, no, no. Okay, Andrew Zimmern, and then you've got uh, Anthony Bourdain. Why are they all A names? And then Adam something was the one that used to, uh, he would go to, like, challenges. Like, they would be like, we have a burger that's the size of a of a tire. And if you <laughs> and if you eat it, it's free. And it's like, well, that sounds like a lose-lose. But then he goes and he does it anyway. Like, he eats the entire yeah. thing. Ryan, do you remember, we brought Ryan with us. There's this place at Elon called the Fat Frog. Do you remember that bar? Yeah, I do remember that. And they had this big burger, and Brian came with us, and we're like, we're going to do the challenge, bring the burger out, and we order it, and the burger's this big, and we got like a quarter of the way through and just gave up so hard. <laughs> Dude, it was so embarrassing, because everyone around us was like, the burgers came out, and they're like, yeah, you got this, and then we ate like a baby bird size of it, and we just passed out, and they were like, damn, okay. <laughs> All right. Damn, I'm actually not this hungry. Yeah, yeah dude, and they still, dude, the worst part is they still gave us the free shirt you get with it, and I was like, I do not deserve the free shirt. Dude, you know what's actually, uh, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show it to you when we're not filming. Jake, yeah. have you heard of this guy, Andrew Eucles? Have you ever watched his shit on YouTube? No. Okay, he's an Australian dude, and he's based, like, in the outback. You were telling me that Jake should do this, dude, right? Yeah. you could film shit like this. All right, here's what he does. He literally will go... He has, like, videos where he's, like, barehanded deer catching. And, like, he covers himself in mud, and he waits in, like, a little, like nested area of a watering hole for like five hours on camera and he's standing there like this covered in mud and a deer will just like walk into frame and not see him and he'll straight up wrangle it bare hand just like jump out of the bushes and grab the deer <laughs> on camera and then be like pulling up and be like whoa whoa and he's like and he's like he's like calm down calm down and he like but he basically like holds it into a chokehold and is just like talking on camera what? dude he does another one where dude this guy's insane we're gonna watch this video when we're not it's not cool to show you the video while we're filming but there's another one where he's straight up he goes around and he's catching 
snakes, like these long ass, like venomous snakes. And he's catching them by the tail. Like he's finding them just in this like brush. And he's catching them by the tail and holding them like this. So the head's down here and he's hanging like this. And he can't, and then he'll like like find another one and he'll catch it and put it in the hand. Now he's holding like two. And eventually <laughs> he's holding five snakes. And then what? he walks into this prairie area where there are <coughs> rabbit holes. Like there's all these holes where all these rabbits are burrowing. And he's set up, because it's a system of rabbit holes, he sets up nets at certain holes, like around the rabbit, and then other ones that are open, he just drops one of the snakes into it, and then w one of the rabbits just bolts what? into the net. Like, oh my dude, god. He, dude, imagine insane. catching he's snakes insane. by hand to catch rabbits. Dude, that's, <laughs> that's, that's insane, dude. Dude, dude. I, we, I, dude, shout out Andrew Eucles. This guy's fucking amazing. And there's another one where he catch, dude, that's catches... That's what I'm saying, bro, this is what Jake will send me these videos. I told like you the this. one the other day. You remember you sent me that one where you shoot the wasp nest with a shotgun? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude, like, saying. people would love that. Dude, they're, Even they're, just the video of, the, of you and me with the Halgrimite biting me... Like yeah, people that's love great. that shit. Funny dude. outdoor show. Literally, there, literally what, uh, literally what Bill Grills was trying yeah, to do. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, but this is like real because he's actually just on YouTube. He's not even really like. There's no fucking camera crew. It's like him and his tripod. Yeah, like filming this shit, dude. He catches kangaroos bare hand. That's like crazy. he's nuts, man. He's crazy. So dude, funny. I just saw how you're supposed to fight them, and it's so funny. You literally just get next to a tree. Uh huh. Because they can't, like, get around it in their head. It's weird. They, like, don't know what to do. And then you just push them in the chest. Uh-huh. And then once you do it enough, they think you're the dominant one, and then they chill. And then really? you can just, like, pet them and hang out with them. It's you so cool. You gotta run the tests. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, about I don't. That. I don't know if I do it right away, but viewers at home, I would not recommend that necessarily. Australian view. Dude, we have some Aussie viewers. Tell us how that is. What, Fight a kangaroo. Let us know. One of, my, one of my favorite videos is when the dude saves his dog from. A I kangaroo love, dude. He decks oh, dude. that thing, dude. Is it? Dude, that is I, a good I love that video. video, and I showed it to my mom because I was like, "Yo, you got to see this video. This is crazy." This guy, like the kangaroo, has a dog in a chokehold, and the dogs can't get away. And the dude jumps out of his car and just like squares up. Clocks the kangaroo it. like lets go of the dog and it's like waiting and he just like bops it in the nose and it's just <laughs> so stunned that he just like runs, runs back to the away. car. And I showed it to my mom and she was like, I didn't like that video. I feel bad for the kangaroo. And I was like, dude, he's mom, choking you wouldn't a dog. Do that. You yeah. wouldn't do that if you if it was like holding, you know, Lucy and like a band of fucking like like our dog. I would do. I would punch a fucking I kangaroo. Would. Dude, your dad was cracking me up when he came over to the like all the guys Bro. were cutting the trees at the house, and his dad showed up in gloves. He like, rolls ready to up work. in work gloves, oh like God. he's gonna be part of it, dude. Like he's I, the like he's the boss. Like he's the <laughs> boss, so dude. I was funny. dying, bro, and he was like trying to help them out. He's so he's so fresh. Your bro, mom was so cracking funny. me up too, because she was like, under no circumstance do you need to talk. She to was these literally guys. like, do not talk Steve, to them. Shut You're up. Literally, dude. That's literally, bro. It <laughs> was so funny. Oh god. Dude, my dad's always telling me like, you'll go, you're gonna marry a, a woman just like your mother. It's what happened to me, and I'm like, dude, you're I, gonna marry I hope a man not. Just like your mother. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh. Uh, oh fuck. I'm loving it out here, man. It's so yeah, amazing, yeah. dude. We need. Oh. I need one more fish. I J need one Jake, more it's, fish. It's kind of far away, but I did just see a frog come out of the water. Yeah, what down there? I don't know if you're not gonna be able to get it now, but yeah, I just saw him. Do they, are they good there. for cat? Dude, yeah, like guaranteed. I brought a really? knife and a little uh, thing to cut stuff. Perfect. What time are we working with? Looks like uh, 545. Alright, not bad. The view is insane. Dude, Jake's told me the only story I believe about Bigfoot. Um, you tell it better than me, though. So here? Dude, Georgia, right? Like, people, when they say big, the big V, fucking, dude, I don't believe any of those shows or anything. Like, it's all bullshit. They're out there fucking around. Yeah. If I had them on a fucking show, I bet you. Catch the thing? At anyone, well, I wouldn't be catching it. Dude, if I had to put money on it, I bet ah! you would catch it. That's so, the only bad. Here's the here's like the, here's the catch twenty two. Jake's the only guy in my heart I believe could catch Bigfoot. He yeah. would blow it to bits so quickly dude, that scientists would, would be like, I I would, "What is this?" You take all the freshest pictures and be like, "Bro, don't post those." They're yeah, like, yeah, yo. They're gonna tell. They're, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, in my they're looking at. <laughs> <laughs> no, fucking, uh, dude. No, I would not blow it apart. First of all, because bro, you look into your heart. Money. You would blow I don't it apart. Have the money to. Own a 50 cal, a Barrett, 
All right. You don't think? I mean, if it's I mean, dude, if it's, like it's a type human, human it's monkey, a nine millimeter would be more than enough dude, to take it there's down. There's stories in rhino. history. I, they're probably bullshit. You're talking about the Iraq not. ones We're, where no, they find no, a giant. No, no. Oh. before that, when the settlers here, at some point, they shot a cannon and hit it, and it didn't die. There's no way. <laughs> it was a bad cannon shot. Wait, wait, but, but yeah, it hit it here or Georgia. I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, let me was. let me tell you. If it was in Georgia, you may His have seen people? the swamp ape because that's the Florida Bigfoot. Dude, because he Bigfoot found. Is supposed to live out west. They My literally body. found prints. Yeah. Right. And a bunch of fucking. It was a fucking four thousand acre hunting camp that my uncle was in, and I literally traveled down there to hunt hogs. And uh, I did go, as you would say, hog wild. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> There's, like, all these motherfuckers that have these, like, they have a map, and it's, like, a, uh, like, on Google Earth, like, a map printed out of their hunting camp. It's, like, it might have been, like, 7,000. Yeah, you said they put pins so no one will go to their camp. Yeah, they put the spots where they're hunting, where they are hunting, or where they're... Uh, and not for big stuff, stuff. It's no, for no, hunting. No, not at all. Yeah, like, it's just for don't hunt really, here, this is like, us. These guys yeah. would hunt with fucking dogs and shit. And they literally, it was gross. I would never do that shit. I thought it was, like, different before I saw it. They, like, starve their fucking dogs, so they chase the pigs. It's oh, what? Gross. It's kind of messed gross. up. So, messed and then up. the motherfuckers, they're starving their dogs for literally no fucking reason, because they catch these fucking pigs, and they cut their fucking balls off, and then let it go, so they don't reproduce. I'm like, you guys are fucking what the Is there a pig problem? I was like, check, please. Yeah, there is. There but is. isn't the whole point... But you're fucking... You're stressing your dog's life out and, like, to- not torturing it, but, like... That's torture, not letting it eat. Not eat that's it. torture. Totally for wrong. And for what? So, and honestly, and, you're torturing Do the they pig. feed me the balls to the dog, at least? Dude, I think those dirty motherfuckers eat it themselves, no joke. That's disgusting. Bro. I'd I rather eat that. dirt. I'd yeah. literally rather eat anything I, you, you guys know that picture of, like, Hogzilla that, that one guy that one guy caught? That oh, yeah. That, like, 800-pound, yeah. yeah. like, yeah. one ton? I, I, think, I think there was... It originally, was like, this is fake. Like, scientists were like, a pig can't get that big. And then I think they went to Dude, the site, and they yeah. were like, oh, shit. They dug it back up. Yeah, and they were yeah. like, wow, this is I do. That blew my dick out of the water. Like, I, I was insane. like... Oh, yeah. I was like... But they found out it was, like, half... It was, like, half... Uh, I don't know. Even know how you like a farm pig, like a yeah, it was like a hybrid, it was half and half. I've like I've, I've which I've get heard, bigger hybrids get, get bigger, bigger, but they well, can't a liger. breed. A liger is that like they too. can't breed. That's fucked up. Yeah, I that's mean, like mules. Mules can't have kids because it's a horse and a donkey. It's a oh, stupid ass! I've it doesn't that. know where to put it. <laughs> that's good. I've heard, I've heard before. Honestly, people say that like. It's more dangerous to run into like a, a wild hog in the wild than it is to even run into like a bear. Dude, I've something. seen videos, Dude, even like ones that Jake showed me, but shoot them they literally they come, they oh, come right. for yeah, you. They up. come for that you. Yeah. Up. And that's those, crazy. dude, those they're, teeth, they're all, if that is those the teeth rip through human skin, dude. Yeah. The, the they're, they're wild razor boar. Blades, dude. They, literally, literally, yeah. Literally, it just cut an artery. Like a beaver killed a guy, I heard. I don't know if He was taking a selfie with it and trying to be a jackass. It it nicked his neck artery and he died. No, I don't think it was his neck, dumb dick. There's one where it nicks his neck. Dude, there's one. He was taking literally a selfie with it and putting his head next to it. And it bit him right here. I was gonna if he had good family members, they'd make a gravestone that just said death by beaver. Death by beaver, bro. I almost had death by beaver. Oh, no. Yeah, you got what's I it called, Guancaloncus or whatever. Yeah, the the flimbungus. Flimbungus <laughs> no, disease, bro. I was hunting in a swamp for ducks. I did it since I was. A I kid. thought it was in here. You did it where Not, you got the no, disease. It was in a swamp. Gerardinius. Uh, close, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Giardia. Giardia. Yeah, I keep literally forgetting. shit and threw up to where I was gonna fucking die if I didn't go to the hospital. And then it was the worst thing in the fucking world. Like almost dying. I had the girlfriend at the time. She's, like, kneeling by the couch, and I'm, like, literally drink. If you took a sip of water at the end, I was sip it and just throw up and shit at the same time. <laughs> like, uh, I think literally, probably, like, Montezuma's Revenge. Yeah. It's a parasite. Yeah. And it took months to hit me. I got splashed from the poo-poo water in my fucking contact lens. That's and it disgusting. took months for that fucking parasite to go through my, travel through my fucking eyeball. That's a fucking Down to my movie, asshole. Bro. And it blew me apart. Really? 
How did you know at the time that you were having like a like I couldn't, diarrhea? I couldn't even get off the couch. I was bedridden. But I was how did shitting you? And how were you up. like? Like it's a goose. because I got that shit in my eye a month ago. How did you know? How did so you in know? all honesty, I would have been like, like I just ate some bad. Fish. Your hole is probably more blown out than mine is at that point. I doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, oh, getting back to the fucking Bigfoot. Oh yeah. So, fucking dude. We were at this hunting camp with all these motherfuckers. It was days before this, and then me and Bill, he was like the wildest kid I've ever met. Uh, he's my best friend. Fucking go out hunting, and we're like, fuck it. We look where there's no markers on the fucking map. It was like half unused, more than half. Yeah. Way more than half. So go to the other side, because we went to my uncle's shithole spot, and it was like... The dunkle? I saw a fucking possum. Half of a possum, dude. No fucking joke. It was gray, and it was dragging its own fucking <laughs> intestines behind it. Dude, it was the weirdest shit. In the middle you thought of it was a zombie, nowhere, right? Dude, yeah. It Fuck. looked like a fucking zombie. I'd be shitting my stunk. pants. What do you think I ripped it in half? A schistel on me. It was a 357. Literal shit pistol, and I put it down. I was like, "What the fuck?" What yeah, do you think ripped it in half? A bear or a boar? I have no idea. I don't bird, think there's bears down there. I don't think a bird. A bird could not rip a, a possum there is in jaguars. half. It could. There is jaguars. Could a bird rip a possum like, in half? But like what? If it they, tried? they, I don't know. I they eat not clean it. They eat its whole ass while it's alive, and then this tastes like shit. No, I don't want to finish. I'm good. I don't want to finish eating this. It had to be like I feel like. Cut in, I don't, how do you get cut in half in the wild? I have no fucking idea. I don't even but know. But it did man. it. Yeah. It did, unless Fauci was playing around. Do you, do you have a ghost he was, story? Dude, the opossum was vaxxed, you're saying. Yeah, uh, it could have been. Probably. Before the ghost story, yeah. we need to finish the Bigfoot story. Yeah. Oh, sorry, <laughs> yeah. sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Dude, so, we both keep I'm interrupting it. I'm out there in the middle of nowhere. I get fucking lost with my buddy. Uh, and I shoot a hog. It was a monster. Biggest hog I ever fucking shot. And uh, it got away. So, it was the next day we went back out there. Almost died, too, because we fucking had hydration. You had no water. You, they, didn't you have them. to go to a tree stand? Yeah, dude, we found a fucking, in an old abandoned tree stand, we found a half bottle, or it was like a full bottle of water, but it was opened, it was disgusting, and s both shared it, and then fucking made it back to camp. Went back to that fucking same spot to look for that hog, and one of them, them cutters. Oh, because it ran? My tusks. God, man. Did it run yeah, like it when you shot? Away. Okay, you didn't drop it. I had a bunch it. of shit guns at the time because yeah. I was young, and uh, fucking went back, found it because the buzzards, literally, and uh, walked out there, found it. It was a red-haired hog. It was monster. It was oh disgusting. God. And there's flies everywhere because it's like fucking a hundred degrees down there. And uh, fucking right next to a dude, no fucking joke. You find these, and it was like there's water moccasins, cotton mouth. Water moccasins out there, snakes, literally. poisonous snakes. Fat yeah, yeah, fucking yeah, snakes. Snake. They're so fat. They're only like, I mean, a big one like this long, but they're so unbelievably fat. It's just they're weird looking snakes. Oh. And uh, there's no way. So we we fucking go out looking for the hog. Find these fucking barefoot fucking prints. No motherfucker in the right mind in the fucking world. We'll be rocking around barefoot. Yeah. No. Fucking way, how motherfucker! How big, how big, how big were the Dude, footprints? Here, here's bigger? the question, though. You know those Theoretically, say someone was walking around with bare feet, impossible. It was too big, right? It was, it yeah. was fucking, yeah. Like I wear those across boots, you guys are saying for right? snowshoes. Yeah, big ones. Not snowshoes, but like just those fucking big ass high boots. boots. Big ass boots. And they're extra large, so you can just slip your foot in and out of them. They were bigger than those motherfuckers. Yeah, there's Barefoot, no fucking dude, way, off dude. the fucking road, like there was a gravel dude. road through this whole fucking encampment, and uh, fucking off the fucking road, probably fifty fucking yards through mud. Who the fuck, in the right mind, other than yeah, the guy no. off that survival show, where the fucking he Make always it goes bare. Yeah. It but his dick that. would have to it be like that. twenty like, feet long if his remember feet that long <laughs> blonde haired guy that had a survival show. He was always barefoot. He wasn't naked. Him, I don't remember. Well, I don't know who that is. He was a weirdo, but there he wasn't naked was or nothing. <laughs> yeah. Him or Bigfoot, and Dude. we followed the fucking tracks. My buddy, uh, at the time, took a picture of the tracks, and dude, like it was not faked at all. Like we were following the tracks, and it got real fucking thick, where we were following the fucking tracks through. And like I said before, we had shit ass fucking guns. 
because we were young, and I said, Bill, let's fucking turn around. Like, I knew, because, like, that thing could pop out of fucking oh, nowhere. It was have. thicker than dude, this blind. There's no That's way, though, like, if, like, if it's fuck, a monkey, dude. there's no way, like... It, could, it probably is a big fucking monkey. My thought is that it would be an ape, but, but dude, cool. I, you could it's drop it big. with a three fifty seven. Dude, no. You don't could think? One shot, motherfucker. Well, I guess yeah. it depends, because, like, uh... You have to have a good shot. Especially at close quarters, you're fucking... Here from right there, even closer, because, like, the trail, it was literally a fucking walking trail to the thickest shit, so you could, like, step aside and be anywhere. Yeah. I was like, Bill, I was, like, the hairs on my fucking neck, I got the chills, I said, Bill, let's get the yeah, fuck out of here. Yeah, me out. That, whenever I get that shit, I feel trip, like something's watching me. Bill had his fucking hand in a fucking pond full of gators, because we shot, we shot one. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> but, uh, he was... Retrieving a fucking gator out of the water, and the mom's like an eight foot fucking gator. He shot God. a baby. Bro. Yeah, he shot a baby. Do you gator. like? We ate it. I can't it's lie. I hate. I hate alligator. Do you like it? I've heard it tastes like chicken. It, it tastes, tastes like, like chicken like mixed with fish. Fish and oh, chicken. Really? Yeah, I don't like it, bro. I don't it like tastes, it. And it's like the consistency of like a catfish, and it's, it's delicious. I don't like it, bro. I don't like rep. Yeah, I think reptile. just based on that alone, I don't think I could eat reptile. Isn't it like, tough as hell? There's like no fat. It wasn't tough when I had it. Yeah. Really? But I had no. I had like no. Nuggets that were like fried. Weird. Yeah, that's probably like. That's how most people make it. I think. Dude, I was in I Louisiana. Bet you if I cooked it, if we could pull a gator out of your ass. Well, you're good at that, bro. I remember, dude. <laughs> I could yeah. cook it. We would go to my grandma's crazy. house when we were like this tall, and we have like crawfish that get like this big. Yeah. Dude, that creek's not those. that polluted, no, but Jake would literally polluted. catch them and then put them in tin foil. We make like a little fire stand. I think you put, dude, you cooked them in tin foil. I remember because we were cooking them on the creek. Might have been a like that's crazy. But he's dude. In terms of like uh, wilderness cooking, this this is the guy you want to get lost with. This is the guy you want to get lost. I would love to catch. I can kill something something and cook it. I can't cook shit other than like. Which is that's so funny. Yeah, Yeah, like, but dude, your skills are better for in the wild. I mean, goose. Is dude, I'm I'm praying you find a goose because I've never had one before, dude. I really want to try one. Crock pot. Yeah. Really? Yes. Is it tough? Uh, it's like duck, it's, right? It is kind of tough. It's, Duck's some of the best meat on earth, dude. So you want to like? Do they taste like get duck? The blood out. Uh, I think duck tastes so much better. Wait, did you say really? goose are fishy? Yeah. So oh, really? You have to fucking uh, what do you call? It? You fucking brine them and shit, and then they taste good. You get the shit taste. You get the blood out of it. So I remember, dude, really? Aunt Anna would always tell me for Christmas she would have goose, yeah, and I was dude. always like, "What the hell, bro?" So last night, you, I told you how that woman came over and was telling me that that ghost is definitely there. Harris and I were smashed. It was the day before uh, Ryan came in. I swear I saw it. And Harris was obliterated, and he was like, Yo, you're messing with, don't, yo, you're messing with me, don't do that. So I was just like, Yeah, I'm teasing, I'm teasing. But I definitely saw something. But <laughs> with that deer, out of the way. A deer. It probably was, it honestly probably was a deer. But have you ever... Are you a ghost? <laughs> <laughs> Show yourself. Have you ever had anything crazy like that here? No, no, not me. I, de- I definitely get the chill sometimes, like, probably from the story, she said. Like, when she's in the bar and that guy... What are you going to do with that? Yeah. Like Literally, yeah. Scary. And then the or how that guy, engineer guy, or the guy was working the, on the yeah, tractor he was left. on a tractor, and he said someone tapped him on the shoulder. Dude, fuck that shit. <laughs> I would, like, I don't know how I would react, I'd like, be like... Know. Yeah, yeah. I, I, but what no, can what you, you going to do? Yeah, 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 that can't do shit. shit no, I would shoot at a ghost. I don't care. Why? <laughs> dude, it's going to dissipate some of the mist. I guess. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, yeah, what are, you're dead, motherfucker. I, I just but never, that's why, I'm like, what, what would you, that do? What are you gonna fucking do? Ooh, stab myself. <laughs> Bro, do you have, like, the sheath in your backpack? That's yeah. so fresh. Mm. Stab my, I have a little magnet in it. It's yeah. French. Dude, his dad used to have, I swear you said yeah. you found it, but then I guess you told me you bought it, but, like, it was, like, an ancient sword. Dude, it was. It and it had, like, Gaelic had ruins it. written on it. Dude, it, was it had, so like, fucking uh, yeah, cool. weird oh imprints God. all over it. My yeah. fucking dad gave it away to, like, my cousin. I was like... Oh, Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Not you. Oh. Yeah, Damn joking. it. Yeah, I was like, oh, wait a minute. Did I get this? Hand. No, I don't know. He gave it away. And it, that sucks, dude. If I had that thing now, I'd probably jerk off over it. It had leather on the handle still. Yeah, it, dude, That's it awesome. literally like looks an, so, a little tassel so and shit. fucking like, cool. He My was God. A, he was a fucking, like, Navy SEAL, and he traveled all over, all over the world and shit and had all this stuff. I forget what country it was from. 
who was like a fucking ancient sword dude, and it was like, it was like, I was a little kid, I was like, oh, ah, yeah, hit Rusty amazing. Sword. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, dude, it was fucking sick. Dude, we, uh. Do you remember when we were kids, and we, like. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> your parents and, uh, my mom would always, like, be like, grab a stick. So, we were little dumbass kids. And we'd always go in Grandpa's, uh, where he'd hang the garlic and stack the wood. Yeah. All said, grab a fucking stick, dude. So I grabbed a fucking stick, and it was, like, an awesome walking stick. I was like, wow, this thing's fresh. Dude, I pulled it apart. There's a fucking sword in the fucking stick. You couldn't even tell it was a sword. What? And they Bro. fucking... I was a little kid. I wasn't, like, swaying around or nothing. They fucking instantly took it away from me. My mom remembers it. Uncle Charles does not. I was like... I wanted that, if that thing, if I had that thing now, I'd be using that thing every day. Dude, do yeah. you think it was like an, <laughs> wow. dude, was it, it was, an artifact, you think, or dude, someone had just made it? It had to be, dude. It was, my, my mom said it would be called the shillelagh. A which shillelagh. Looked like a That's like an stick, Irish dude. thing, yeah. It was a full fucking sword. It wasn't yeah. as long as that other sword. Dude, I remember we used to, uh, one of our biggest, pa- I think it's the reason he, him and me are both scared of bees, is we would get on the quad. I'd be the guy in the back with a stick. Such retarded kids. So stupid, dude. And we'd drive up to the biggest hornet's nest we could find and just hit them. And then s- try to, like, speed away. or, like, like dude, run away, the dude. Fucking quad Bro, the funniest time ever, dude. Jake throws a rock, like, this big right through a hornet's nest on my grandpa's, uh... It was, like, I don't know what he used it for, like, storage. But he hits it. It One comes straight down and stabs him in the temple. And he's crying. Because, like, dude, we were, like, little babies, bro. But our grandma comes out because she hears him crying and is like, what's going on? And, dude, I've never seen someone stop crying dude, so quickly was, and I just go. I remember that. You literally I were like, so I'm fine. I'm Graham. fine. Dude, I literally stopped. I'm like, nothing. I'm fine. <laughs> I had a fucking, I pulled a hornet. I was so fucking stupid. Oh, my like, God. Like, there was a paper hornet's nest on the side of this fucking building. And the first time he gets stung, there was a tent. My aunt left a tent up. Our plan was hit them, and the when tent. they come at us, run into the tent. Dude, so oh I God. sink a big old rock in that fucking nest. And one goes down his shirt, and we got in the tent. And he's like, I got one in my shirt. I was literally threw him Kicked out me of out, the dude. fucking tent. <laughs> I didn't like, want to get stung. Like the guy who gets bit by and the zombie, and they're like, get out of here, get out of here. The retard that I fucking am, I totally forgot. Totally about that whole, what we were doing to the bees. And I'm literally, like, running in a fucking circle right next to the nest <laughs> an hour later. I forgot, totally. Oh, my God. The bees did not fucking forget. <laughs> and they came out and f***ed me, dude, right in the fucking temple. And I started screaming and running and crying. And I grabbed it and I threw it on the ground. And she came out because she heard me squalling outside. And I was like, nothing. It was fucked up, and then she put baking soda on it. Baking soda or charcoal? I remember she used know. to put the charcoal I, on I have, like, a fucking huge-ass black Me too. thing on my arm. I think it was from, I had a scrape or something, and my parents put charcoal, or my mom really? had it. Really? And it, like, stained my fucking skin. Oh, my That's God, That's the only dude. tattoo I have. <laughs> <laughs> it goes kind of hard, honestly. Have dude. you ever done anything, like, uh... Is there any wilderness type shit to do in Florida? Uh, I mean, we have like yeah, the Everglades dude, and shit there. Like, there's a ton of crazy. Dude, you guys shit. mind if I take a leaf right here? It's all you. I mean, I, I think I've said this story before, but the there's a there's like a trail that goes straight into the Everglades that's right by my house. And so when I'm walking through there, we'll see all kinds of crazy shit. And one time we pulled up there, and there was a lady feeding. There was an alligator sitting like right on the bank, like not farther away than I am from you, basically. And there was a lady tossing boar's head ham like into the water at the thing, and we were like, we, yeah, we like, st- we like stopped up at the thing, and we were like, what's going on over there? And she's like, oh, this is Princess. We come here every Wednesday, and she waits for us. She loves ham, but she doesn't like turkey, so we get her the one that she wants. And we were like, this is fucking nuts, man. Like, what did it do? Spit it back it out? It literally, I'm I sure don't know. I it literally it was sitting there, but I'm like. I'm never going to see this lady again. Dude, I would have run away. A bit that's literally... Away. Okay, lady. Yeah, I, I, I forget what movie. I want to say Lake Placid, but that's literally the plot of the movie where there's this old woman, f- woman who feeds these ancient alligators, and then they start eating humans, but oh they're, like, God, gigantic. Man. But she sits there with lunch meat and, like, feeds them. That's like, insane, the, the, dude. The alligators, like, they're... they're 
they're great to look at. They're really cool. I mean, but like they're like living dinosaurs. They're pretty tasty. <laughs> yeah, and I've never eaten them surprisingly. But uh, do they know, not sell them? Yeah, like, we need to come to Florida. They, they, <laughs> they definitely do sell it, but it's more of like. So uh, when I went to Louisiana, that was at every. It was like the gimmick at you know how at yeah, every yeah. restaurant they have they like have gimm- it, yeah, it yeah. was like they sold that. You have to go more to like a rural area of Florida to find it because where I live, nobody's eating that shit. Do you guys have country people in Florida? Or is it I all mean, old people? Yeah, but in my, in my area, it's mostly old people and, like, Latinos and Jews, basically. That's, like, yeah. who lives out there. There's not... But once you the go, trifecta. like, slightly... Yeah. Once you go, like, slightly north, that's when you get more, like... I think it's more country Here's my question. Are there country-type Jewish people? I'm sure they exist, yeah. 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 I wonder what that's like. <laughs> Definitely. I don't really know what do you any, mean? but... I, I don't know any, but, like... The same. Yeah, the same, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. except I'm imagining you wouldn't shoot pigs. Well, yeah, definitely. You're probably not Maybe a pig you'd shoot guy. them because they're a nuisance. You just hate them so much because they're. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there are dudes Dude, that would do it, but like they're tasty beasts. I will say. I don't know, man. I've never shot. I've never. I've Mama never shot mia. an animal. I've shot guns, but I've never hunted before. Yeah, yeah, yeah that'd be kind of cool. Dude, we'll get some hunting in while you're here. Awesome too. Fishing like, is great in Florida. Dude, there's yeah. some. Do you guys do oh, ocean or? Here. Yeah, I've fished on the ocean a couple times, but that's hard. I've I've never caught anything. The only the closest thing was that. I went, when I was way younger, I went with my friend to the Keys. His family had, like, a little house out there, and they had set up lobster traps in the ocean. We were going around on the boat and reeling in Dude, the traps, and they had caught. It was me. so that's sick. Fresh. And then we that's cooked the them that night. Food. It was the first time I ever ate lobster, and yeah. I was like, even as a kid, like, I don't know if I appreciated how fucking sick it was, but it was really fucking sick. Dude, fun. when we took awesome. this man to Maine, I this man to town, was dude. the lobster destroyed. Dude, you got me, me on mussels, but me bro. Me love lobsters. Uh, yeah, that blog yeah, yeah. place, lobsters. I can't lie to you. I forget if they were mussels or clams, but whatever we got last night was so fucking it was good. Crazy. Any they cook it in yingling. Dude, yeah. my, uh, or, uh, my dad, this is a long time ago, uh, he, he used to tell me a story. Uh, he's like, Uncle Randy is uh, his nephew. Uncle Randy, I don't like fish. He's like, you're going to be a lonely, lonely man. <laughs> <laughs> he was telling me, like, back when you could order monkeys, right? Okay. He was saying that they, some one of his buddies had ordered this monkey, and, it, like, they had trained it to, like, do dishes or something. What the hell? At a restaurant. But then I guess it got, they, it got, like, fired because it was, like, breaking too many dishes. But then he said, like, a week later, he saw the monk, same monkey then working at a car wash. <laughs> Dude, can you imagine? It's the Buying economy. a chip. He's going to get right back into it. Dude, Dude I, this I, I monkey was... is not getting jobs on its own volition. It's its owner signing Wait, it up for where jobs. Was, where, where was the first job at? It was washing dishes at a restaurant? Yeah, I, Dude, I, if I was the manager... Of a restaurant, and that day I had to call a monkey into my office <laughs> and fire him. I would feel like such a fucking jackass. <laughs> my job is so fucking What would you even say to the what, monkey? Just... When you call the what do you t- what do you tell a monkey? <laughs> In any circumstance, but especially when they're not, you tell them, do they do, do they cut them a? Uh, but dude, what do you call there's it no they... way the guy is gonna like. The, there's no way the monkey is like working on its own volition. A, he you know what I mean? They're like, don't worry, we're we're gonna get you a service package. <laughs> <laughs> it's a box of bananas. <laughs> 